Four games left of the season, we've avoided the drop. I want to strengthen our team a little bit today to very winnable games. Let's get into them. Hello and welcome back. It's win one take one everyone. Today is episode number 12. We have Fulham away to kick things off and then I believe we're taking on Blackburn. Currently in ninth, a team that theoretically we could still finish above. A top half finish is still on the cards and well that is what we are going to be striving towards today. No one is injured, no one is missing and as a result we have a full strength team. Of course last episode we picked up Rosinski. I'm keeping the faith in him today. He missed a hat-trick of chances in his debut. Maybe today is going to be a little bit better, though. And while speaking of today's opposition, we are taking on Fulham, a team whom I've seen many times in real life. I've gone to a fair few away days at Fulham. Craven Cottage is just an incredible stadium. I recommend anyone go there. Uh, I mean, you don't need TripAdvisor. Just come here. I'll, I'll give you a review. Anyway, I'm not sure why I'm just giving you a review of Fulham Stadium, really. That's not what we're here for. We are here to win some players. And while I'm looking at their key man in Luis Saha, I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, I could. A Luis Saha would be a quite nice addition to this team. Of course, Fulham are struggling towards the foot of the table. They have also got Van der Sar and Steve Malbronk in their team, two players who I'm relatively familiar with. I think most people probably are. Um, obviously, it's not a superstar team if we just look at the league table. They are currently very much in a relegation dogfight. Two points behind Southampton, two points from safety. It's very, very close at the bottom. One of these teams will be safe, the other three going down and well we are going to attempt to save Southampton's bacon and maybe seal Fulham's fate today but before we get into the match of course we've got to spin the wheel which is sat behind me it wasn't very kind to us last time out so I'm hoping today it's going to be a little bit better let's give it a tug let's give it a spin where are we the wheel is rigged the wheel, if anyone ever thought with this series that I was like going to spin the wheel a load of times and then, you know, just pick whatever value I needed or wanted, I hope you've come to realise that this wheel is just, it lands on zero for, it's a weighted wheel. It's its all fraudulent. Someone is sabotaging my efforts. We have nothing. Oh dear. So the worst player in this Fulham side in terms of value is Steve Salmon. He's a 16-year-old Jamaican regen. He's inconsistent. He's unambitious, he has no redeeming qualities, and if we win, I have to play him in goal for the game against Blackburn. So in terms of team selection for today's game, as I've already kind of alluded to, there are no injuries, no one is missing, so it is just a full-strength team. A team that, of course, went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Newcastle last time out. Uh, Newcastle were battling right up there at the top of the table. We were able to play party pooper there. Maybe we can play a bit of a party pooper role today against Charlton. It's not going to be an easy one, but the players look up for it. I'm up for it. Let's, let's try and get three points. We've not done that, I feel like, nearly consistently enough as of late. I'll tell you what, I do not like the fact they're playing a three at the back. Like, what is this? is very conservative for a team who have to win. I can see why they're struggling towards the bottom. Oh, that was an unnecessary comment. I'm just being mean to Fulham here. You know, now that we're safe, I feel like I can just sling insults at the other teams who were struggling alongside us for the longest time. We're playing some quite nice football here, though. This, this is pretty. Look at it. Look at this. Look. Oh, my word. This is straight from the training ground. Powell, McCann, count the passes, everyone. Count the passes. McCann, go right if you need to. He's going to burst through the middle. He plays it forward. Rosicki is going to keep that and go back to the right back. Come on, let's score the prettiest goal ever. Parker, Carrick. Options in front. Rosinski's there. He's got to finish it. It's offside. You know that goal that Arsenal scored that time? That really good passing goal? It, this would have been like that. It would have been a goal replayed for the ages and instead some busybody on the far side holding his little flag. He's holding it up and going, offside. Disgrace. Draw me those lines. I want to see how close it was. Oh, my word. It's cleared off the line. This is fine. Oh, Rosicki, could we break now from one end to the other? Still looking for his first goal, of course. Men queuing up in the middle. Gomer, though, puts in a tackle and gets it away. We're going to come again, though, on the attack, perhaps. Young here, the right back, dinks it forward. Rosinski, great touchdown, hits it straight at van der Sar. You donkey. I'll miss Jason Yule. You know what? 20 minutes gone. I don't I make, make the change. Yule. 
Brzezinski, I've had enough. I've had Jason's coming back. Whatever I said, whatever I did, Jason, I didn't mean it. I just want you back for good. Now, some would call it an emotional change to make a sub this early, but when we see Jason, you'll score as he heads over. I'm going to look like a genius. They say there's a fine line between genius and crazy. I think the lines can overlap. Van der Sar taking it out from the back here, but kicks it straight at Young. We can come forward here. It's Jason Yule. He's back, everyone. Will he pull it back? He does. Burley's there. Jason Yule. I mean, it's a 200 IQ play. One of the greatest tactical decisions ever made in Football Manager. Jason Yule, I'm sorry. From the bottom of my heart, I am sorry, mate, because I didn't believe in him. Poor goal kick. Young threads it through to Yule, who holds it up well. I think it might have been a shot that deflected. But we're going to claim it was an intelligent pullback to the edge of the box. Burley was there as the shadow striker, the former Derby man. He puts us a goal up. Big ball forward by Carly. It's going to be won by them in the air. We don't play a particularly pretty back brand of football other than that one kind of chance that we had that was ruled out. Never seen a string together that many passes in a row before. I mean, could we do it again here? McCann. I mean, that is not, that is, it's fine. They've not scored. What was that though? McCann, ball into the middle. Scotty Parker's there. Is that a penalty? Referee, he's pushed him. Go to VAR and give it. Disgraceful there by Fulham, cheating. And as excited as I am for this win, potentially, I am also apprehensive about the fact that there is a man called Salmon who's a 16-year-old goalkeeper who are going to have to play. Burley over the penalty. He scores this one. I think the last penalty he took, he missed. Goal number seven for the season. He's definitely not got that many for us, some of those from his derby days. But make no mistake, he's got two now. He's on for the hat-trick, the shadow striker. I thought it was about to be half-time, but there, there could be a third. We look relentless right now. Ricketts bringing it forward. He's going all on his lonesome. Gives it to Parker, bursting forward. Men queuing up in the middle. Can he pick someone out? No, he goes alone. He go very greedy by Scotty Parker there. Of course, I didn't really appreciate the fact that we've got Scott Parker, who is current Fulham manager, playing against Fulham in this game. Anyway, at the break here, 2-0 up. We've been the better team here. There's not been a whole lot of opportunities, but we've been clinical. We've taken the chances that have come our way, and Fulham have not really looked like scoring. They have got a mountain to climb here. And, uh, well, as things stand, they are going to remain in the drop zone. 20 minutes into this first half already. Surely they've got to go for it at some point. I really don't feel too much pressure to make changes. Of course, I've already wasted one sub. I say I've wasted it. Like, if we hadn't made that sub, the game could have been very, very different. I'm going to take off Carrick and I'm going to bring in Andy Todd. He's not been good enough today as Carrick. Todd's coming back. It's his return, everyone. And now suddenly they burst into attack mode, it seems, Fulham. They're going to the 4-2-3-1. It's boring. It's overpowered in Football Manager. Is it going to see them get a route back into this game? Well, they've got the ball forward here. It's Boa Morte. He hits it. He scores it. It's 2-1. Should I be scared? Maybe a little bit. It's been quite convincing up until this point, but now they've got one back. Squeaky bum time commences. Boa Morte bursts through. Could Kylie have done better there? Poss possibly. Right. Five minutes left. I'm going to learn from my mistakes, everyone. I've been accused of not making changes nearly enough. I'm going to make some changes here. Time-wasting more often. It's going to be fine. As soon as I've gone to time-wasting more and changed the wingbacks to defend, a new highlight's begun. Am I a genius? Am I a fool? We're about to see. McCann, big block. A goal here for us, and that's surely game, set, and match. McCann hacked down by Boa Morte, who is now going to go from hero to zero because he's just scored. Now he's got to go and take an early bath. Time is trickling away, and we are going to win this game 2-1. We will take that. A very good victory for us. The top half dream. It's still alive. We are now only four points behind the likes of West Ham. We are now in 14th, but with a game in hand on some of the teams above us. And in the next game, we're taking on Blackburn. A Blackburn team that if we win, well, we would be three points behind them with a game in hand. Game on, everyone. Game absolutely on. Now, of course, the downside is our next game, which don't get me wrong, very exciting game against Blackburn, is going to have a minor problem. And that minor problem is that we are acquiring the cheapest player at Fulham. Steve Salmon, welcome to the team. This next match is going to be awful, isn't it? Can Steve Salmon be a hero? Is he going to be zero? I mean, we can't give him the number zero. 
Um, but he could get that match rating. I don't think he can get that match rating, but my expectations are low. Let's see how we get on in this game. Oh my, this guy is in goal for us. Not ideal. I feel like this Blackburn game should be quite winnable. We're playing at home for it. We've still got this game in hand and we've got Leeds to play next episode, which I'm not looking forward to, but much like the Newcastle game that we had not that long ago, it's a game where we have a chance to have a say at the top. We, we as a slightly irrelevant mid-table team, we can still play a role in this title race. Uh, which is continuing to hot up. United have fallen off the pace. It is now an Ar Arsenal... United have fallen off the pace. It's now an Arsenal-Newcastle-Leeds kind of fight at the top. There's only two games left of the season for a few of those teams. Well, for us, 14th, it's not quite as exciting. But a win today, it could take us above Sunderland. We'd only be three points behind Blackburn with a game in hand. I don't want to speak prematurely. We're going to get top half, I believe. If we just take a quick look at this Blackburn Rovers side, their key man is David Dunn in the midfield. What a player he was back in his day. A player who I feel like he never quite fulfilled the, the great heights that football manager projected. Elsewhere in their team, though, you can see here, they've got some good players. Players like Tugai, we could add to the team for some more, I guess, creativity in the midfield. Kinsella, another option as well. I mean, when I look at some of these players and I look at our team, I feel like we've got a chance here to get a good little player, assuming that this blooming wheel doesn't give me a zero again. I'm not giving it a tug. I'm giving it a whirl. We're going to change the doing word. What are we doing? It's landed on 10 million. I thought it was going to land on the zero again, and I was just going to cry. Um, if we look at the values for Blackburn, that means that we can get any player of our choice if we win. Let's get on with doing that. So in terms of team news for today's game, we're going to go relatively unchanged compared to that game against Fulham, but there's a salmon in goal. I mean, look, if he makes a save, I'm probably going to go wild. Just if you're a headphone user, just be prepared for if he makes a worldie of a stop, I'm going to go mental. Steve Salmon, it's your debut, mate. Just don't concede. Goalkeeping's very easy. You just don't concede. I mean, Fish and Rufus are going to have to protect him a little bit, I feel like, today. Our little baby Salmon in goal is going to have a pretty mighty ask for him. The rest of the team, though, looks brilliant. And maybe if we can just score a load, it doesn't matter how bad our goalkeeper is. On the flip side, maybe this video doubles up as an FM experiment to see, do goalkeepers even matter? I am hoping for my own benefit that goalkeepers don't matter and Steve Salmon's going to make a load of stops. But forgive me for going into this game feeling a little pessimistic. What is with teams playing three at the back? I feel like I've been playing against 4-4-2 Brexit lads all season. These two games today, these exotic things with wing backs and three defenders. It's unfamiliar. We've got a set piece here. McCann, forward, fish. Heads over. First chance of the game though. Well, we're looking threatening. They're yet to have a shot on our goal. We are protecting our salmon well. Young in the wide area. Could he get the ball forward? No, he's going to give it away. My concern is that we don't give up any shots. We play really, really well, but then all it takes is for them to have one chance. And they score it, and I just feel a bit gutted. Although, if they gift us the ball like that, Ricketts, you've got to finish that. He doesn't even find the target. Cancel the fan club. No more dancing. He's put it wide. After half an hour, this is one-way traffic. To begin with, we dreamt of staying up. Then we dreamt of Europa League football. Now it's a top-half dream. This match matters. We need a win here, and they've lumped it forward to Grabby. They've not had a shot yet. Stevie Salmon, can you make a stop? He's made a save. It's unconventional. It wasn't particularly good, but it's not in the back of the net. And now we have a set piece. McCann, he dinks it forward. Rosicki, it's... I don't know what's happened there. That was a highlight, apparently. Okay, Salmon, he stopped every chance he's had to stop so far. It's nil-nil at the break. He's on course for a clean sheet right now. He is not the man letting us down. It is our strikers. I am far from pleased. You might have thought, you know, bring Jason Yule back into the team today after Rosicki's recent kind of antics, but no, I haven't yet. Jason Yule, he's the, he's the kind of secret weapon on the bench. The ace up our sleeve. And while well, Powell is on this near side, options queuing up in the middle. Goes over everyone, but all the way to Young. He's going to bring it inside. Gives it to Scotty Parker. Plays it in Rosinski. Oh, my word. What a save by Kelly. It wouldn't have counted, though. The flag was up on the far side. There is a small part of me that feels like if I get a penalty, I might put Salmon on it. Just, just as a heads up, really. 
20 minutes left in this game. I was about to make some changes, but we'll wait. Salmon's in goal. They, I thought Rufus was just about to block it. I mean, what distribution that is to Ricketts. The kick was sublime. If only Ricketts wanted it more. McCann, though, does want it. He dispossesses Rosicki. McCann now with the ball. The number eight, the former Sunderland chap, bringing the ball forward. We're passing it around superbly. Look at this build-up play. Barcelona, eat your heart out. Now we just need a bit of end product. Rufus with it. We have got men committed in the attack here. Parker, Carrick, Burley. This is pretty. This is superb. Is there a shot, a goal, a chance even at the end of it? Young on the far side. People queuing up in the middle. He whips it and Ricketts heads it over. You absolute idiot. 15 minutes left. We've been the better team here. They've had two shots. I'm making changes. Burley is coming off for Salako. Jason Yule is coming on for Rosicki, I believe. And I'm going for it. Four minutes left. Five. I'm going, going more attacking. More attack. Look. The wing backs attack, attack. McCann on Mazala, attack. Let's be more direct. Less playing it out from the back. Less working it into the box. Let's get it forward quickly and let's press from the front. Five minutes left. I'm going all attacking. There's probably just not going to be a highlight for the rest of the game now. That's normally what happens here. Two minutes, one minute, no minutes. I mean, Salmon's kept a clean sheet. And I don't quite know how it's finished nil-nil, but maybe this game sums up our season. Usually we play pretty well. Very often I don't feel like we get the result that we deserved. It's a draw. Rufus gets man of the match. At the end of the day, it was the men in the final third who let us down. Rosicki, Burnley, Ricketts. Uncharacteristically poor performances. Look at the XG difference. <sighs> That's the kind of match we have to be winning. But what I will say is, Salmon kept a clean sheet. So round of applause, please, for Salmon. I've realised we've got a fishy theme with this team now. We've got Salmon in goal, Fish at centre-back. You may even have to try and talk me out of playing Salmon in our next game against Leeds United because based off what I've seen there, he's kept a clean sheet on his debut. He's absolutely top draw. So unfortunately, we're not going to be adding a player off the back of that Blackburn game. But what it does mean is with two games left of the season, with six points left on offer, the top half kind of possibilities they're there next episode though it's not going to be easy we are going to be taking on a Leeds United team who have won all of their recent games including games against some of the big teams around them we're gonna really need to be at our best for that one our last two games of the season if we just take a quick look at it we've got Leeds United and then we've got Derby County Derby down in 18th we should win that one away from home against Leeds though would, would it be a mistake to play Steve Salmon I'll let, I'll let you guys decide in the comments. Steve Salmon, should he play the next game? Yes, no, maybe. If you don't know, I can repeat the question. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Anyway, guys, that is going to wrap up today's episode from me. I hope you have enjoyed it as always. If you have, do make sure to drop a like on the video. One last episode of this season of Win One Take One. I hope you've been enjoying the adventure. Steve Salmon, welcome aboard. We're going to have a great time together in the last episode. I can feel it, Steve. And well, hopefully you guys will be here to witness just that. It's all from me today. Thank you for watching. It is me, Jack, and I will see you guys next time. I'm out.